Hi, everybody. Hey, happy Sunday, everyone. I'm so happy to be here and to show you chapter five, Viva El Glam. I'm sure you guys have had a sneak peek at these colors. They are beautiful. They look like a painter's palette to me. And it's basically inspired by Frida Kahlo and her beautiful art. And you can really paint with these. They are 10 opaque cream colors that are beautifully coordinated. Hi everyone. I'm so happy you could join us today. I can't wait to show you these up close. I'm so glad they're back in stock and that you have a chance to pick some up. They are absolutely beautiful for spring and they celebrate Mexican culture. They are so pretty. I loved painting with them and I think you will too. Let me turn this around so we can get started and I can show you the colors a little bit more up close and personal. You can tell me your favorites. Bear with me while I try and flip this for you, okay? This is the tough part, you guys. I have them ready for you. Sitting out. They're gorgeous. If you guys already were able to purchase some, tell me your favorite. I'm having a hard time deciding myself. They are so, so pretty. And they are creamy and opaque. The best. Right, let me flip this around for you guys. There we go. There they are, they're beautiful. Hi, I'm so glad you guys are able to sign on. I took the liberty of, sorry for the shake, um, doing five of them for you already, just to save some time. And you can let me know if you wanna see them swatched again. But first up we have I Am More, and it is our coral color. It's showing a little orange on here. It's definitely a coral. Here it is with the matte top coat. It is really beautiful, and I will show you the difference between this and the orange. They are definitely different. They seem a little similar, but this one is definitely a coral. Okay, and the next, oh, 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 it's a yellow. Okay, Rita. This is, I believe that means honey, and it is very much like a honey color. It is a little bit darker than a butter yellow, but it is a beautiful yellow. And here it is matte. And next up we have Painting Dreams, which is the gray of the group. Whoop. And it is a gorgeous gray. I'd say it has a slight green undertone, but it's a nice light gray, perfect for any base painting. It is beautiful, Painting Dreams. And then we have Passion. This one is the red of the group, and it is a brick, a little bit brick, not dark brick, but it has a little bit of a terracotta red. Um, it's definitely red. Here she is, matte. It's a very beautiful red. Two coats, guys, these are all two coats. The next one is Dolce, and it is like a butterscotch gold. It is definitely a yellow tone, but more butterscotch yellow, a little bit of a honey color to it too. There she is matte. So here are these five, just so you guys see them. I like to put the names on there so you guys can definitely see which one is which when we're swatching. And tell me who was lucky enough to have purchased some of these when they released on the first. 
They are absolutely gorgeous and they all go together so well. They all have a bit of a dusty tone to them, I think. Um, not, of course, not that the gel's dusty, but they have a slight subtlety to them that is absolutely gorgeous. So let me get some of these that I already swatched out of the way. And let's go on to some of these vibrant ones that we still need to see. So if you guys know Madam Glam, we certainly have different types of formulas, and this one is definitely our creamy, opaque formula. So two thin coats should get you full coverage on the nail. And I don't know about you guys, but I also love gels that are so pigmented that you're able to paint with them too. And this collection is certainly fits that bill. So Love to Fiesta, that is our green. And it is gorgeous. It is a little bit of a bluish green. It's a creamy green. And it is, it's, they're all bright and beautiful. So here, let me show you. See how creamy that is? Gorgeous. Let's put some Love to Fiesta on here. I like to Fiesta sometimes. Anybody else? All right, this green and I think I've mentioned before, I paint thin. I like thin coats, thin even coats. I know you can certainly make it a little bit thicker than I do, but even just one coat, you can you cannot see my finger through there. So that is Love de Fiesta. And let's go with, oh, the blue. I'm a blue lover, anybody else? This is Besame and it is a beautiful, vibrant blue. We have a lot of gorgeous blues with Madame Glam. And you guys know that our gels are 21 free, vegan, cruelty free, palm oil free. Yeah, it's important to a lot of people. Look at this blue. I'm gonna bring her up a little bit so you can see her. This blue is so, so pretty. I've tried to use a lot of these colors in artwork because they're so easy to, to use. They're, they're nice, um, they're easy to manipulate, and they all blend beautifully together. But you can make swirls, that's super popular right now. Um, maybe we can try a floral in a little bit. All right, and here is Frida, and she is our vibrant pink. I'm hoping it, sh it looks a little red on my monitor, but it's definitely not. She is a hot pink, uh, not neon, just a beautiful, rich pink. And here she is. So as you guys know too, or if you're new to Madam Glam, we have a great program called the VIP program. VIP is an excellent way to build up your Madam Glam collection. So anyone can become VIP. All you have to do when you check out is click that option to be a, become a VIP member. And VIP will allow you 50% off all of the gel products. And then when we have sales, other products are up to 50% off for our VIP members. And it really is an excellent way to build this collection. So it costs $29 on the first of the month, but that is not a fee. It goes right into your Madam Glam account as credit for gels. So basically, that's like three gels a month. You can buy three gels a month, you can say, oh, I have a lot of gels right now, I don't need any, and let it store up, and then buy a collection with all that credit, whatever you like to do, but it is really a great program. You get early access, you, I mean, it is, you can find all the information on the website, but it is a really fun way to build your Madam Glam collection. This is a gorgeous orange. Mitako is Mitako, and it really does. It looks like... I don't know, taco seasoning color, that kind of color. It is beautiful. Who doesn't love an orange? And then Vida Loca is our purple. 
and she is a creamy purple. Our gels cure for 30 seconds, and so do the base and the top coats. So 30 second cure, I happen to see that question. And you guys know when we do these lives that we do a giveaway. And if you stay with us till the end of this live today, you might have a chance to win this collection, which let me tell you, you want it, it's beautiful. And we always have a question for you guys. So you know these colors, but you know Madam Glam has a ton of colors. We have a lot, uh, 1,500 and some colors, lots of colors. Which Madam Glam color would you say speaks Mexico to you the most? I could pick any of these. They are, they are all so beautiful. Look at that purple. You said, no, it's very opaque. Purples are hard to get an opaque purple. Let me turn this on with our beautiful holly lamp. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. I moved my gels out of the way because I'm stickler about that. Uh, oh, a mini lamp, yes. I, you might wanna increase because that really doesn't have um, the wattage and the voltage that a big lamp would do. So you probably should do at least 60 with a mini lamp. Oh yeah, Mi Taco is so pretty. And so is that Coral Amor. Uh, okay, so these are your answers out of this collection. Yeah, a lot of them. Anyone would do, wouldn't it? All right, let's go to round two. But already you can see they're very pretty. All right, Frida, I, I didn't do you justice, but the rest of them. All right, let's go to, start, let's go to round two. Yeah, so... I don't know, there's lots of colors that uh, Madame Glam has that speak to me. I really do find that they're so easy to work with. They're so creamy and smooth. Yep, and this green, I'm loving this green. It's very different from some other greens that we have. Love to Fiesta. Oh, I'm so glad you love, love, love Madam Glam. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> the taco one does say Mexico. Vida Luca. It's purple. Let's do another coat. And as always, after we do two coats, I like to use the no wipe top coat that we have. The other top coat's great too, and if you need a top coat that does have the sticky layer, our regular top coat is absolutely beautiful, and you can put, you know, foils, etc., on top of there. So sometimes you don't always want a no wipe, but for the sake of time today, let's do no wipe top coat on top. Here's the taco. Is this close enough for you guys? I hope that you can see these. Has anybody played around with them yet? Has anybody been able to use some of the colors? What is your favorite? I really do love this orange. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. Oh, look, it just says taco. You know, it's a long strip on this one. It's a nice long name. You know our names are fun. Oh, sure. And then, you know, just top coat it again after you do it. Mm -hmm. You can use foils uh, on top of a top coat, but you just have to top coat over it again after you're done. Um, but the no wipe top coat is really easy to use, 30 second cure, and then you're done. You don't have to worry about wiping that sticky inhibition layer off. So that's always a plus. There's Frida. Beautiful. And then we'll show them all together. Oh, and can't forget the blue. It's so, so pretty. Yeah, we do have some fun names. Some funny names, too, for some of them. Fries Before Guys and Pesame. 
Mm. Besame mucho for me. I love this blue. Absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. And they're so pretty for spring and summer. They are great colors, you guys. And I did a white one. So maybe we could put some flowers on it. These really speak to me for painting. There are so many things that you can do. You can actually ombre them together. They're beautiful. You can do swirls. You can do stripes. You can do hand painting. It's one of the things that I adore the most about our opaque creams. You can do so much with them. Sure, which bottle did you want to see? I see somebody asking, can you show us the bottle once? You mean like that? This is the taco. This is the besame. And you know all of our bottles have this clear topper with the actual shade in it. So it's nice if you're storing, you can look and see what color you're grabbing. It's great. Okay, let's get a top coat on these. So you guys tell me which color you think. And I guess, you know, we could even broaden it up into any color that um, Madam Glam offers that speaks Mexico the most to you. I think you're right. All right, so here's our no wipe top coat. And a nice thin coat will do. Trying to hold this up, but my hands are shaky when I go up there. I think I drank coffee a little bit too close to this live today. Sorry, guys. Let's hope the art that we do works out. <laughs> and again, 30 seconds for the top coat. Besame. And I also use the... Uh, I want to say I used the mat. I used our velvet mat on the underside of the ones that I had previously done because all of these colors look beautiful matte too. And you guys know sometimes when you do art, you like to even it out. Sometimes a mat will do that for you. It will take a crisp edge away a little bit, but it is one way to do it. Maybe we'll do whatever we do. We'll try it shiny and then matte. Vida Loca, the beautiful purple. Oh, and I'm, oh my, I'm running low on my favorite no wipe top coat. That's not good. Go through these, you guys, definitely. Taco. The purple is super pretty. It's, um, you know, mid-range purple has like a slight touch of gray. That's why these all look beautiful with the gray too. They all have a little bit of a dusty tone to them. Though they're also super bright, so it's kind of hard to describe. But they are so, so, so pretty together. And you can use so many of them in your nail art designs because they all coordinate so beautifully, just like a painter's palette. Absolutely gorgeous job, Madam Glam. And here's Frida. I'm sorry, Frida, I'm running out of my top coat. But let's get that on there to save her. So let's do maybe a quick floral, you guys, today. These so speak floral to me because we could do all kinds of colors. So what colors do you want me to use for floral? Let's do Querida. Yes, that orange will look beautiful with a matte finish. Actually, all of them do. I don't wanna do this while it's lit up, but I'm gonna put some on a palette here and we can go to town a little bit.
and then we'll use all right actually before we go to town on art let's look at them all together real quick they're like a dusty rainbow is what they remind me of which is perfect for the summer all right so here's these five a little bit more close for you guys frida me taco is me taco vida loca besame and love to fiesta and then here are our others Here's Ayamor. Do you see how that's different from the orange? It is definitely more coral. Here, I'll pull those two together real quick for you. They look similar, but they're really not. One is a peachy coral, like a pinky coral, and this one's definitely a dusty orange. So if you're looking for a coral, that is a, a beautiful one to add. And here we have Passion. This is the red. Now that I've zoomed in a little bit closer for you guys. Yes, it's a dusty rainbow, exactly. Great. And here is your painting dreams, your Carita uh, and Dolce. Mm, there you go. Gray, a buttery yellow, and a butterscotch yellow. Oh, there we go. I don't like that shine on there. Sure. You wanna see the red and the pink? So, and I'm gonna put the bottle tops next to one another too, so you guys can see like in different light. So here is the pink and here is the red. And it's very difficult on a monitor, but this is Frida and this is Passion like this whoops there you go they're they they blend well together but they are definitely different colors in person mm-hmm rainbow a dusty beautiful rainbow do 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 all right let's plop some down on a palette and I'll do a really messy, sketchy floral. Because why not? Let's put some Kirita. Show you guys how these blend. So you want to, if you need any information on our products, definitely go to madamglam.com. This is taco I'm putting on now. Let's put the red. Choose some of these that I already had on sticks so you guys can see. Let's do I am more. Looks like I'm putting little dots, but that's because I'm going to use just an artist brush to do something quickly on white so you guys can see it. Let's do green. Love to Fiesta. Let's do some blue. You guys might have seen um, a, oh, and you know what I forgot to tell you guys? I'm Lauren, if you don't know. I should have said that when it was my face on there. <laughs> I'm in Spade Benny's on here, but I'm Lauren, and I'm always happy to answer Madam Glam questions for you guys. Uh, pink. Let me see if I can give you guys a difference between the pink. Let's do Frida and any other colors. Well, maybe we should just use almost all of them. Seems to be where we're heading. All right. So I'll try to do this close. And we might have something coming up pretty soon that you guys will be excited about. For right now, just want to show you how to do a quick and easy. I'm going to pick up some Curita and even some Mitako Ismitako and lay down some petals. And I want to do it light so that I can go back and do some areas of the petals darker in a minute. After we get a cure on. As you know, flowers are great. You can be really messy. Flowers are not perfect.
and I want to do it thin and light so we can make some layers to our flowers. But wait till you see this beautiful color palette. I'm going to wipe off real quick. And let's do a coral. Flower. Excuse me if I don't talk quite as much. I'll pull it up as soon as I get some petals on, guys. I do tend to do that sometimes. I'm painting and I'm not talking. I don't mean to be quiet. And let's do a pink one coming in on the side. Do you see how vibrant this pink is? It's really pink. It's very pretty. And let's do some, well, we're going to do some red on this in the centers. So let's do an orange over here. maybe another pink over here and you don't overthink flowers guys just plop some petals and for some reason at the end it all comes together so that's just one thin coat of mixing some of the colors together to make some petals let's cure that and then let's add some more because petals are usually sheer sheen I'd like to do it really thin initially, and then you can go in and add some color and some depth to those flowers. And then we'll use the greens and the blues and the purples for petal, um, for leaves. Oh my gosh, someone loves my voice. You know when you go online and you hear yourself talking and you think, oh no, I sound like that? Thank you, because <laughs> it sounds funny to me. <laughs> All right, so... Let's go back in and do a little bit more to deepen up some of these little petals. So pick up any colors, you guys. That's what I love about these colors. You can just mix them. I'm going to put some yellow, put some orange. So we're going to do Karita and Karita and um, Mitako is Mitako. And you can really just, they just blend beautifully together. So we have this beautiful orange yellow flower here with some deeper parts, lighter parts, you know, just, again, just don't worry about it. Just do what you do. I'm going to pick up some red and put it in our coral. Oh, look, that, that turned out cute. See? So you just play. This is a play full set of 10. You need them, you just play and enjoy it. That's what nails should be. Have fun doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to have fun. Nothing's perfect, you guys, ever. Let's put some red in here. Maybe we'll do the centers as black, or we could do them as, oh, don't you, might work. See, so that deepened up the petals a little bit. And then we'll go in with some green and blue and purple leaves. How about that? Did you guys have any other questions? Oh, I'm running out of time. Okay, you guys keep telling. Okay, let's go back to the question too. Because we are running out of time. And I want to see what your answers are. Which Madam Glam color says Mexico de most to you? And I saw. All right, so I'm going to go in just with a detail brush real quick, and let's just do some of this. Love to Fiesta. And let's do some green leaves. And really, you guys, you can lay this a little bit thicker. I was going for a painterly look, so pressing real hard on that brush, but you don't have to do that. You can... I did some swirls with this. You can really load it up and it levels beautifully. So you're good. Let's do a blue and green leaf. And a purple leaf. Why not? Use them all. 
Go wild, you guys. I want to see what you create with these colors because they are so pretty. You really can go wild. Need something in the center though. Okay, so let's put blue inside our orange. Just a few dots even. Probably would have gone with black, which you know, our perfect black is ooh, awful, awesome. Awesome for everything, lining, painting. It's great. All right. All right, I probably would fuss with this more, but you guys get the gist. Just go crazy with it. They are really, really, really beautiful colors. Such a beautiful addition. All right, all right, let's cure that. And let's use our velvet mat on it, just so you can see what happens to the colors with the mat. And Let's see what else we got here. Let me put that, there you go, moved. And again, answer that question for me so we can pick a winner to win this beautiful collection of 10. I'm, you will be so happy. All right, guys, here's our velvet mat. I love it. It's a great matte top coat. It is does not yellow. It has a soft velvety finish. That was only 30 seconds in there for curing the paint. And now this will be 30 seconds for the velvet mat. these all back in front for you guys to see again did anybody need to see anything else do you think you I hope the colors showed up beautifully on the monitor they really are so pretty who doesn't need a good gray don't forget about painting dreams grays are awesome one of my favorites actually and I have to pull out for you guys to see all these again a dusty rainbow All right, thank you, Madam Glam, for these beautiful colors. They are so pretty, and they go so well together. I want you guys just to take your paintbrush. They'll look beautiful as base on a nail, but go wild with these designs, you guys. You really can do it with this color, with these colors. So there's some fast, easy, loose, who cares, all flowers are different, fun, artistic, flowers with this beautiful collection they are also gorgeous yeah that gray didn't get enough um air time but it is absolutely beautiful it's a great gray i'm looking at some other grays that i have right now and it it is definitely different it's very very pretty i'm scrolling guys i'm so glad you love them all they are really, really, really pretty. And any one of these could speak to, say, Mexico, because they are beautiful colors. So vibrant, yet with a hint of a dustiness to them. And I see Tom Tasha. You said Besame. It's one of my favorites. I'm a blue lover. So please, Madam Glam will reach out to you or you can reach out to them at help at Madam Glam. If you are still with us, you've won this beautiful collection. Yes, our bottles are 15 milliliters, so they're large. Oh, I see her say, yes, good, congratulations. You're really going to love them. They are so pretty. We want to see you play. And 
take Frida and take your paintbrush and go to town. Let her be your inspiration. Thanks you guys so much for joining us today. I'm so glad you hopped on. Have a great rest of your Sunday and we'll see you soon. Thanks again. Bye.